What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here back with some more totally accurate battle simulator and today we're doing something a little juicy. We're going to be having a hundred of every single tabs unit versus every single tabs unit. So uh, here we have every single set tabs unit save for the super peasant the dark peasant and the super boxer those units were deemed far too powerful uh to be allowed in this army because obviously they're they're just op they're just op units so uh we wanted to give the 100 people who are going to be going over here a fighting chance so without further ado let's get this thing going boys all right we're starting off with the clubbers by the way if you uh would please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and uh, comment down below what kind of tabs videos you'd like to see next. That would be highly appreciated. Either way, here we go. Here are the clubbers. I don't think these guys have it. I don't think they're going to win in the slightest. I mean, they might get a kill or two, but uh, they're just not powerful enough. They're not good enough units. They're going to get slaughtered, and, and that does appear to be happening here. The clubbers are getting thwacked. There's no chance. I uh, Yeah, nah. I, I highly doubt even any of the tribal units will manage to win this. Here we go, boy! Shield boy time! Protector boy time! Uh, we are going to go relatively quickly through these because this could be a very, very long video if we if we spent a ton of time on each and every unit. And yeah, the protector boys, they get slaughtered, man. I think they did get a few kills there, but not looking too good. Spear throwers! I think these guys will do better than the clubbers and the protectors, but I still highly doubt they manage to do very much. Let's see. They're probably going to get one volley off, and then after that, they're probably not going to be doing too hot. Here we go. Are they going to even get a volley off? Um, they have yet to throw. There we go. They're yucking some spears while they also die rather rapidly. <laughs> Okay, maybe these guys won't do super well during this. Um, they are getting a lot of spears into this ice giant. That seems to be the one guy that they really want to kill. They really want to kill that dude. Dude! They killed the tank! What a bunch of chads! They actually killed the tank! I'm impressed. These guys did definitely do the best than any other unit so far. <laughs> yeah, man, it's stoner time. Let's get it, boys. Uh, yeah, again, I think these guys will do better than the first two, but maybe not as good as the uh, the spear yuckers. I like the spear yuckers. I think they're very good. Um, I mean, there's definitely some rocks getting rolled, baby, but most of them are uh, dying rock rollers. And, of course, the tank ended up going down again. Very nice. All right, all right. Again, the tribal unit, not the best. Okay, the Bone Mage. This one will be interesting. These guys might actually stand a pretty good chance here. They have a very powerful attack. Uh, but the range units are going into them pretty good here early on. They are casting those spells, and it is resulting in a lot of blue deaths, including the tank. That's good. The tank's always good to get down. Uh, however, yeah, these guys just didn't manage to do quite enough damage. I think maybe the Woolly Mammoth might be able to do it, but even that's going to be tough. Okay. Chieftain time. All right, Chieftain. Let's see what you got. He doesn't have any special abilities, right? He just kind of thwacks, I think. I believe. I do not know. Lots of them getting frozen over here. They must be an Ice Archer. Ice Archer, not good. <laughs> there is a lot of death, but they are surviving. I think they've got better health than most of the other units, so that's not terrible. Yeah, they're actually, they're doing okay. That's the first melee unit to actually kill the tank. Uh, and it looks like they're killing some other stuff too. So these fellas, they're, they're making a little bit of progress. Not a lot. They still lost. Okay, we've run into a problem. This is literally as many woolly mammoths as I can fit on the map. So 76 is going to have to do, fellas. And most of them are in the city up there. <laughs> uh, which I think is just absolutely hilarious. Here we go. Wow. This is the most woolly mammoths I've ever seen, and they're just... <laughs> this is insane, dude! Oh my god! Pixelated Apollo thwacking them with the trees! The last time I called this tree man Pixelated Apollo, Pixelated Apollo actually commented on the video. I thought that was so funny. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. A ton of death going on for the blues. This might be the first victory for... The, the duders, the woolly mammoths, the tribal men. We could be seeing our first dubski here. Lots of woolly mammoths are ending up 
dying and going down. However, they're making some progress, thwacking these guys and getting some kills. This ice giant, though, refuses to die, and the tree giant, aka Pixie Poo, is just hitting them with logs, man. He's just give him the old thwackaroonie, and not to mention the the missile units are just clapping from a distance. That's not a good thing. The the woolly mammoths trapped in the city are not having a good time. That's that's for sure. Oh, I think the woolly mammoths are gonna lose. Actually, I don't think they got this. This is the end of the tribal army. This is their last opportunity to try and claim a victory here. But they're just losing, baby. They're just not making it happen, Cap'n. Oh my god, look, the swords and the woolly mammoth. Oh, that's kind of tragic, dude. All that's really left for the um, attackers are essentially the god units right now. The units that are so powerful that they can survive the initial hit from a woolly mammoth. Oh no. Oh no. Woolly mammoth. That's so sad. That's a sad buscus right there. And now it's just missile units going in on these woolly mammoths. Uh, that's basically it for the woolies. They, they literally cannot attack because they're all stuck in the city. All the survivors. Dang, this was definitely the closest one yet. Let's go on to the next one. All right, we got the halflings, dude. Um, halflings are really a, a step down. <laughs> Get it? Because they're small. Um, from the woolly mammoth army we had going last time. So this is going to be a little disappointing compared to the woolly mammoths. They are knocking a few people down. Like, they're getting a couple of kills, but... I mean, it's a slaughter for the halflings. There's there's just no way. It's just not possible, mate. It's just not gonna happen. All right, here we go. Now we've got the farmers. Again, probably another pretty disappointing one. I don't see them doing too hot here. And yeah, it's a slaughter. I mean, the early units for every faction are basically going to be cannon fodder. Okay, we got the hay balers, boys. Um, these guys have pretty good armor protection, so they might last a little bit longer than the other units, but again, they're relatively weak in the grand scheme of things. They're also not missile units. I feel like missile units would probably do the best in these. Uh, so yeah, they're getting, they're getting destroyed. They got annihilated. Bye bye All right, poisoners. This will be an interesting one. This will be an interesting one. Uh, they'll definitely poison a lot of the army, but again, they're pretty weak. And the poison does take time to sort of kill, so I don't think it'll be effective enough. Yeah, yeah, these guys are getting, they're getting kersplatted again. Bye-bye! Alright, Harvester. It's the Harvester time, baby. Um, we are getting into the upper echelon of units for the farmers, but the farmers suck, man. They're definitely like the worst faction overall. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't see them doing well in the long run here. I, I think we're not going to start seeing victories until we get to, like, the Renaissance, maybe the Wild West. The Dynasty could do it with their Huachas. I, I think it will take a while. Yep. Bye-bye, farmers. All right, the Wheelbarrelers. My least favorite unit in all of tabs. I find them horrifically annoying. They're also laggy. They lag. They lag in large quantities because it's really a bunch of tab units all together in uh, one massive tab unit, so <laughs> it really do be that lag game, though, uh, and I find them excruciatingly annoying, the sounds they make, the derp -a derp -a derp it's just so annoying. I know it's Baron Von Games, and I love Baron Von Games. He has a fantastic YouTube channel. He's a great content creator, but it is such annoying voice lines. It is so obnoxious, dude. Um, they're getting pretty mass slaughtered here, but they're doing way better than their other farmer counterparts. I mean, they're they're su surviving a little bit better here, baby. They might even be doing as well as the woolly mammoths were, and the woolly mammoths still, uh, you know, they they did pretty well. So this is this is not bad in the slightest. You you gotta love it, baby. Not bad, not bad. They are sort of dwindling out now. Most of these guys are dead, and they're getting thwacked by the by the giants here and Thor and stuff. But I mean. Hey, good for the wheelbarrowers. They kind of they kind of did a little thing there. They kind of accomplished something. Not too shabby labby, baby. Um, and it looks like there's like one more over there. Yep, and he got smooshed. Okay, the scarecrow, the final unit of the farmers and their best unit. You know, usually the final unit is kind of the best unit here. Um, oh my god, <laughs> I think there's so many things on the screen that's kind of glitching out the game a little bit. There's so many scarecrows. Alright, the units that involve, like, multiple entities, like the Scarecrow and the Wheelbarrelers, they lag out the most, because the game has to render so many more things than, say, just, like, a Halfling, you know? <laughs> the Halfling is probably handled the best by the game. 
Honestly, the Scarecrowers, I don't even think, are doing as well as the Wheelbarrowers. I mean, the Wheelbarrow dudes got, I think, more kills. Honestly, I think, I think their sort of chaotic approach was way better than this approach. Yeah, Scarecrow is kind of lame, dude. There we go. They're donezo. They did kill the mammoth, though. Rip my man. Okay, bard time. This is not going to go well for the party boys. <laughs> These guys are going to get slaughtered. Yeah. Oh, my poor, poor guys. My lads. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, they're such weak units. No. All right, the knights. I mean, the knights are a solid unit, dude. They're a solid melee unit. They're sort of the backbone of a lot of professional tab armies. However, in this case, they ain't doing too hot. I mean, they're just going up against gods here at this point. I mean, they did fight one squire of their own, but uh, it didn't result in very many good things. All right, the archers, dude. I think the archers are gonna do it. Okay, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to build up some hype. There, there's no way the archers can manage this thing, dude. I mean, they got that that missile advantage, which is nice, but the reload takes a while. It's just, yeah. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Have a good good time. All right, the healers, dude. That's uh, that's a bad one. That this is this, this this is not a good one to to see. This one's just a slaughter. Because, I mean, they don't do damage. They just don't do anything. They heal themselves. So, yeah, rip. Okay. All right. The Knights. These guys have a solid chance. They're a strong unit. They're powerful. And they're shielded, too. That is good. That is good. I think... I don't think they'll win. But I think they'll do a better job than a lot of the former units we've seen. And I think they'll live a little bit longer. They might get a few kills. And already that's sort of showing here. They're, they're doing a pretty swell job. I mean, the knights are not something to be reckoned with, dude. This tank needs to go down. There you go. They destroy it. Very nice. And these giants. If they take out the giants, they've basically got the dubski. The giants need to go down. And then it's just missile units, which they can charge. And I think the knights would have this if they managed to do it. They've still got time, they've still got troopers, but they are dwindling ever faster with every stroke from that massive tree that's whacking them. All right, the knight, yeah, the knights, uh, they don't have it anymore, dude. There go the knights, rip. Okay, catapult time, baby. Um, This'll be interesting. I think this, I mean, catapults are powerful, dude. Yeah, let's see, wait. All these colliding with the giants, man, it could work. It could get the kills that they need. The problem is, after that first volley, then the reload time's a little bit long. Oh, actually, they reloaded relatively quicker. Quicker than I thought they would. Uh, and then they get another volley off. Oh, but the Giants aren't going down, dude. The Giants are not going down. Let's see. I mean, keep lobbing rocks, man. You gotta hope for the best here. Come on! Dude, how powerful are these Giants, though? Really? How powerful are these Giants? They're just tanking every shot. Oh my god, and the tank's still alive? I didn't even realize that. Holy cow. Oh, well, okay, they're, they're turning black. This is odd. Are you okay, sirs? Is there something wrong with your textures? <laughs> oh my god. All right, the mammoth died. This might be the closest we've come to a victory, actually. These guys are doing pretty good. I mean, they're powerful, but they do end up losing. But they got a lot of kills. That wasn't bad. The King. The King is a solid unit. I don't think it'll do as well as the Catapult. I just don't think it's got that same oomph that the Catapult does. Um, but I think it will do a decent job. You know, a little better than the Knights, a little worse than the Catapult. I don't see them winning, though. They're too fleshy. I don't think they deliver enough damage to get kills. Oh, they killed the Ice Giant. Wait. Oh, my God. The King. Can they kill the Samurai Giant and Pixelated Apollo? They killed Pixelated Apollo. The Samurai goes down. Oh my god, the king might do it! Dude! They killed the Da Vinci tank. They got all these missile units over here to deal with. There's Artemis. Artemis goes down. Oh my god! We might have our first victory! Oh! It can be done! The Reds win! Oh my god! That's insane! Alright, let's watch some more defeats. All right, now we have to go through some until we get to another candidate who can win. I mean, shield bearers, obviously, not going to do it. If the protectors couldn't do it, the shield bearers can't do it. They're just like a slightly improved protector unit. So, yeah, bye-bye. 
Sarissa is interesting. Sar Sarissa is, uh, you know, a, a, a good, solid unit. But, you know, they're soft. They are very, very soft. They're not going to win this. Nope. They're getting faster and faster with the defeats. Hop a light to time. Let's see how this goes. I, again, again, it's a solid unit when combined with an army, but on its own against these god units. I just don't think it's got the stuff. I don't think it's it's got the stuff. It's going to take a $1,000 plus costing unit to win this thing. You know? Bye bye all right, Snake Archer, dude. Snake Archer time. Um, it's like, uh, it's a unit. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get excited about these units. You know, the, the small units that you basically know aren't going to win. You know, it's hard to get hyped about them. It's hard to get hyped about seeing it because you just know it's not going to go well, dude. Yep, bye-bye. They're done. Ballista. This is another contender, I feel like. I mean, the catapult did so well, and Ballista's in that same sort of a vein. I'd say it's a little bit weaker of a catapult, but maybe it gets lucky? You know, maybe it lands more direct hits? I think it did just kill the Ice Giant, which is something the catapult never really managed to do, so that's kind of big. But it doesn't have as much splash damage as the catapult, so you're noticing a lot more weaker units are surviving, whereas with the catapult, all the weaker units died, but the powerful units didn't. Uh, meanwhile, some powerful units are dying, but most of the weaker units are left alive. Um, there goes the samurai giant. This is the only second unit to actually kill the giants. Surprising, but they still lost. All right, Minotaur. Minotaur, Minotaur. I think uh, Minotaur has a solid chance here. They're very similar to the king unit. You know, they're just sort of raw, blunt, melee power. I think this could be a contender for the Dubski, the Dubski Wubski. What will really tell the tale is if they manage to kill the giants here. If they don't manage to kill the giants, they don't got a chance at all. But I do see the Ice Giant is down. Now they got to work on Pixelated Apollo and the Samurai Giant. We'll see if they manage to get the kill on them. Uh, the Da Vinci Tank, also a major problem because it's just getting free cannonball shots into these guys. Uh, and they are not eliminating Pixie and uh, the Samurai. I think the Minotaurs don't have this. They feel like they had an opportunity to. And then they kind of squandered it. I, I think they didn't they didn't do enough fast enough and there you go minotaur tours ended up dying the mini mini tours tour 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 zeus this one could do it i mean zeus is a literal god he's fighting against other god units he is the weakest i think of the tabs gods at this juncture but like look at that he's he's arc and lightning everywhere He's getting a few kills. He's staying alive, too. There's a lot of them still alive. He gets the modern tank. That's a big step. He gets the mammoth. Another big step. Now it's up to getting the giants. He got the ice giant. That's huge. Do you get Pixie? Oh, okay. This is make it or break it time. They have a chance to win. They can do this. They need to start getting these two giants down, though. The samurai giant and Pixie Poo. They're sort of the next level. There we go. There's samurai down. Now pixelated Apollo, then the da Vinci tank. Then they've got it. They get Pixelated Apollo, get the Da Vinci tank, dude. If you get the Da Vinci tank, I believe in you. I believe you have it if you get the Da Vinci tank. Come on. Dude, it's so close. <gasps> wow, it was so close, but they lost. The king is still the only one to complete this gauntlet. Head butter time. These guys don't stand a chance. We just know it. We just know they're going to lose. That's how it works. You go through the early rounds of each faction, then you get to the late rounds where you're like, ooh, just maybe, and then they still fail. All right, they lost. The Ice Archers. I feel like this is an interesting unit at the very least. A unit that could definitely slow down the approaching enemy army, maybe get a few kills here and there, um, and, and survive a longer time than most other armies because of their sort of slowing powers. But again, I don't think they've got the dubs key in them. Why does this giant keep on turning all dark black? That's super weird. All right, there we go. Nice one. Okay. Brawlers. Again, I, I just don't think these, these shorter units have it in them, you know? It's just not, uh, we gotta wait till we get to, like, the Yarl. Then maybe they have a chance, and then even then it's like, ah, slim to none. You know, this is just a slaughter leading up to the Yarl. Yep, bye bye The Berserker. The Berserker, another surefire L here. Oh, they're, they're really going after that Ice Giant. They just kind of latched on right there. That was neat. That was unique. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. Uh, but they're, they're still losing. I mean, come on. Come on. They don't got it in them. These guys don't got the guts nor the gumption. 
It's not in there, Forte. Yeah, they lost. Pretty bad. The Valkyrie. Okay, this one. I didn't even think of this one. I think they got the longevity in them to make this happen. And they've got the wings. Oh my god, the camera's going nuts. Ah! I don't know, dude. The Valkyrie's strong unit, and they're, they're airborne, which makes them powerful, dude. Even still, they're getting crushed, actually. Never mind. All right, I, I had actually too high of hopes for these guys. I really thought they might make it, but they didn't. The Jarl, basically the the, 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 the the Scandinavian king, so I feel like, you know, in terms of uh, relationship to the one unit that has won, these guys could be close. They take out the tank really early on. Next step is sort of that ice giant. If they can kill the ice giant and the mammoth, then they gotta go on with the samurai. The mammoth does go down, the ice giant is still kicking. Then comes Samurai and Pixie Poo, but the Ice Giant has yet to go down, so they can't really move on to that next step yet. They are cluttering about him. They do get the Ice Giant. Very nice, but do they have enough units to kill Pixie Poo and the Samurai? That's sort of the next question here. They could be the kings of the north if they tried hard enough. You know, the Samurai does go down. This is a pretty close fight, but they don't have enough units to do this. Not a chance in butt, man. Not chance in butt. No, they're dead. They're dead big time. Let's see how these longships do. This was a pain in the butt cramming these guys into this map. Not to mention each longship has multiple units in it. So we've got like 500 tabs units in the air right now. This is not a good thing, man. All right, the first wave of longships barely even yote forward. The whole thing with this unit is they sort of yeet their ships at the enemy, uh, and they're dying before it seems like they can even do that. This is the strongest Viking unit here, but... Um, we're getting like 3 FPS, dude. I really hope this doesn't crash the game. I I really hope. Come on. Kill units faster there, Blues. Come on. There we go. We're getting better FPS with more of them dying. Excellent. Excellent. I, I don't think the longship has it. I mean, they're such a weird unit. I don't think they're powerful enough in the slightest to actually make this thing happen. Um, I mean, their main weapon, the longship that they throw at their enemy, is already dead. They don't have a single longship left to throw they've already yucked them all so uh that's not gonna work now they just have a bunch of oarsmen who are basically peasants fighting against these guys and oh my god is it laggy wow this is actually painful this is <laughs> this is hard to watch dude i wish tabs were a little bit more optimized to have many units on the field i i feel like the ragdoll of the uh the game sort of restricts it from being as optimized as it could be. Um, or maybe the coding's not great. I'm not entirely sure. But I would love it if we could do massive battles and tabs without huge amounts of lag. Um, either way, I mean, I mean, the oarsmen basically lost. 100%. They're not going to win this. So I'm going to stop so we don't have to watch the lag. All right, the samurai. I mean, another joke unit. These guys will die very quickly here. There's just no way. There's just no way. They don't have it. They're just going to die. This is quite the voyage to see a lot of defeats that we're doing here. You know, <laughs> this is a lot of defeats. Uh, yeah, to see one victory, we've seen like 40 defeats. There we go. Another defeat. Firework archers! Bum ba dum bum 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 bum! I feel like these guys could do it! No, they can't, but I mean, they're cool. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm just telling myself that so I can hype myself up for a victory. But ah, oh, we're not getting to the victory point with the samurai for a while here, dude. The dynasty's, uh, you know, good, good, good stuff, but they do have some schlock in there. There we go, they lost. Monks! I don't think the monks have it. They're basically like berserkers or whatever. Well, they're not like berserkers, but, you know, same level. They, they cost the same. Uh, they do roughly probably the same damage, just different strategy, that kind of a thing. So, you know, I don't, I don't see these guys doing it, but they'll put up a good fight. They'll get some kills. That's all that really matters, baby. That's all we want to see. I don't know. What, like, I expect at least three or four more victories. There will definitely be at least three or four more victories. I don't know if that is going to be accurate, but, you know, that's what I'm expecting. There we go, a defeat. Ninja time! Ninjas are powerful, man, but mm, probably not powerful enough, let's be honest. They're pretty weak um, compared to an onslaught of every tabs unit coming at them. Uh, they'll, they'll definitely get some kills, and we're seeing that right now, but they're not... They don't have the longevity, baby. They don't got the stride that the king did. They got little throwy things, shurikens. Okay, they lost. 
All right, this is our first um, one in a while where we couldn't fit everything on. The dragons, the max I could do was 73. 73. These guys look really dangerous, but at the end of the day, they're just not, you know? The flames are good, but they, they're not that good. I, I feel like this is going to be another example of, you know, an intimidating unit when used properly within the scope of a full army, but when it's all on its own with a hundred of them, uh, they tend to do a little bit worse if we're being completely honest. So, uh, you know, I see these guys getting some kills, doing some stuff, but I don't see them winning. I mean, winning. For goodness sake, the mammoth is still alive. And when the mammoth is still alive this deep into the game, you tend to be looking at a little bit of a defeat here. This is similar to the longship because each unit has so many subunits. You've got all of the um, people holding the, um, the dragons. So... You know, when, when the dragon dies, the people might still be alive, so it does result in a little bit of lag. It doesn't seem as bad as the long chip, but it's eh, it's still there for sure. Alright, the rest of the dragons are stuck in the city, um, and there's still an absolute metric ton of blue units alive. So the dragon's lost here, basically. That's what we're seeing. Oh, the mammoth just got shot by its own tank. Brutal! <laughs> All right, yeah, the dragons are stuck up there. They can't breathe fire from up there, so they'll just be picked off slowly in the next, like, 10 minutes uh, by archers and stuff. So that's an L. All right. Huacha. I have a strong belief the Huacha can win. The Huacha is such an amazing artillery unit. There goes the first volley. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jeez. Whoa, dude. Oh, Lord. That's an FPS drop if I've ever seen one. If this does not kill the Ice Giant, I don't know what will. Yeah, the Ice Giant's definitely dead. If this doesn't kill everyone, I don't know what will. Holy cow. We dropped to like one FPS, dude. Ha! <laughs> this is insane. Dude, it is one. It is one FPS. All right, it's getting better, but there will be another round of shooting. Oh, my God. Yep, here comes more fire. Oh, it's not as bad as the first one. Oh, it might be getting worse. I don't know. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> this is insane. God, I love the watch, you baby. All right, all, whoa, whoa. All right, all the lags making it hard to navigate. All of the ice giants and giants and whatnot are dead. Ooh, no. Not even true. Pixelated Apollo is still alive. Though he is getting many Huacha to the stomach. There you go. Huacha killed Pixelated Apollo. Now all that's left is the defensive units over here for the blues. Because, of course, they have a banner bearer. Um, which is a given because every unit's on the field. So, of course, banner bearers are as well. Uh, so the watcher need to kill these defenders. Ooh, it looks like a couple of dudes escaped from the, the defense sort of thing. They get absolutely obliterated by that. Okay, they're dead now. Uh, so now it's like there's like a dead eye. There's like a blower archer, blow dart archer. Um, there's a pikeman. I mean, here comes a volley. Let's see, does it get any kills? No. <laughs> no, not yet. All right, there we go. There's a pikeman kill. There's a blow dart archer kill. Uh, the poacher might die here. Who, who knows? Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, poacher dies. Is that guy gonna die? There we go. He's dead now. The dead eye. Come on, come on. Show me some kills. There we go. That's our second victory. No way, dude. Monkey King. I'm confident Monkey King will win. We're hot off of a victory here, and I think the Monkey King will be able to get us our second victory. Two in a row. Sorry, our third victory. Two in a row. I think it'll be two in a row. I really do. The Monkey King is such a powerful melee unit. It's far better than the King. The Monkey King is far greater than the King. I am very sure of that. So, uh, you know, by the transitive property, if the Monkey King can defeat the King, then the Monkey King should be able to defeat... All of these fellas. I mean, they are rolling right now. They still haven't killed the ice giant yet, but they're all over them, man. They killed the mammoth. They killed the tank. That's first steps. There goes the ice giant. Very nice. They're already working on pixelated Apollo as well as the samurai giant and the Da Vinci tanks getting messed up a little bit. There goes pixelated Apollo. He's dead. He does take a few 
uh, Bunky Kings with them as they deplete off of the side of the hill. But that doesn't stop them. They're still going, man. They're taking on the Da Vinci tank right now. They're all over that thing. And there we go. Third victory. Two in a row. Let's go, baby. All right. The painters in no way scenario. Uh, we just got to get through the painters, basically. They don't got it. They don't got it. It's another useless unit. Bye-bye, painters. Oh, GG. GG. That's another L. That's another L. But we're three in, like, 40 now. <laughs> Okay, fencer time. Another another just get through this one. Get through her to get to the more powerful units in the faction. Which I think the Renaissance could definitely do it with the Da Vinci tank at least. For sure. For sure. Alright, there we go. Alright, balloon archers. I mean, this will be an interesting one at the very least. But will it win? I highly doubt it. Look at the ice giant. He's just tanking all the balloons. He's not even getting lifted up, dude. Look at all the balloons going to the sky, though. That's crazy. That's a lot of balloons, brother. That's a lot of loons there, but they lost. Okay, musketeers. This will be good. This will be good at the very least. There's that first volley. Didn't even kill the ice giant. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I mean, the, the gunpowder units tend to be pretty good in this game, but, you know, the reload time of the musketeer is very long, and uh, that's really hurting it right now. That is hurting it indeed. Bye-bye, musketeers. Halberd time, man. Halberd time. I don't think they got it, but this is probably like a mid-tier contender. You know, one that'll do some damage at the very least, but it certainly isn't going to get the win. Uh, you know, it'll it'll make a mark, but not, uh, not solidify the dub. That's the main problem there. And yeah, they're getting slaughtered right there. They're all grouped together. They're getting kersplatted. They did last a little longer than most, though, so that's good to see. I like it when the units do last a little bit longer. That's cool. The Cavalry. This one, maybe. It's a weirder unit. I feel like we haven't really experienced anything quite like it yet. It does go for that nice little yeet charge in there. Um, it's causing some chaos at the very least. I don't know if they're coordinated enough. You know? They do cost a thousand points each. That That is a pricey little price to pay. That's a pricey little price to pay. <laughs> So, I mean, they got that going for them. You know, they're a relatively expensive unit, which is is good. That usually means good things. But, yeah, again, I don't think they got it. They did kill the Ice Giant. That's a big step. So, they did better than most units did. But, um, yeah, no, they, they, they took the L there. All right. The Da Vinci Tanks. Um, they, we, this was the least amount of units we could get on the field. Uh, like, we could not get any more than this. Uh, so the Da Vinci tanks are really hindered by their sheer size. But they do hold a lot of power. Each one has just firing cylinders of uh, cannons. So pretty crazy stuff, if we're being completely honest. And I think, uh, you know, just mayhaps, just mayhaps they managed to uh, to get the dub ski. Who knows? I mean, lots of cannonballs are flying. I think the, the Da Vinci tanks are kind of hurting themselves by standing in front of one another. Uh, it's resulting in a lot of chaos and maybe a little bit of friendly fire there. Uh, the giants aren't dead yet, but there's still plenty of Da Vinci tanks left alive. You know, Da Vinci was actually like a brilliant man. He really did design a tank. Um, and, and they always say like Da Vinci was such a genius that the only reason he wasn't recognized more is because he was sort of hindered by the technology of his time. He was solving problems that, you know, wouldn't become problems for another thousand years or whatever. And, well, not even, but a few hundred more years, you know? He came up with all these inventions that mathematically and realistically, physically worked. They worked. They've been tested by, like, MIT and the likes of, uh, you know, basically every science college and stuff like that. And it's like, this dude was far beyond his time. Not to mention he was like a brilliant painter. He was an he was a legend. He was a cartographer. He was an architect. Truly the epitome of a renaissance man. Just an absolute genius. If he was alive now, oh my god, think of think of what he would have been able to done for the do the for the human race, dude. Would have been would have been nuts. Would have been would have been insane. And he, I mean, he already did do a whole lot for us, so, you know, pretty pog. Can we get a, uh, a Da Vinci pog in chat, boys? <laughs> Alright, uh, that being said, these Da Vinci tanks seem to be sort of, I don't know, failing almost? The Ice Giant's still alive, but actually Pixie Poo and, um, the, uh, Samurai are dead. There goes the Ice Giant, actually. Huh. 
Oh wait, is Apollo still alive? Is the tree giant still kicking? The tree giant is actually still kicking. Just on the ground for now. He seems a little stuck. There we go. He did end up dying right there. Oh, the Da Vinci tanks are struggling, but they're they're managing to do it a little bit. This is definitely one of the closer ones we've had so far. Every once in a while, a Da Vinci tank does stop spinning, though. They are losing their men. Um, these guys up top here are literally no help. I don't know why I keep putting things up top, because they don't do anything. I should probably stop putting units up top when they don't fit on the bottom. It would make a little bit more sense. You know, might as well just use less units than try and, like, fill it up by putting them up top, you know? There goes Zeus. Zeus finally died right there. I forget what this guy's name is, but uh, he's still alive, which is good. He just tanked a cannonball, so he must be a pretty powerful unit. Uh, Ice Archer over there, still alive, which is good for him. Um, we've also got the enemy Da Vinci tank is surprisingly still alive, which I find kind of funny. Oh, Artemis is coming in with her arrows, and she's spamming these Da Vinci tanks. I don't think the Da Vinci tanks have it. I think they came really, really close. Um, but at the end of the day, they were a little too derpy for their own good, you know? They might have even done better if there was less of them on the field, you know? Um, this could take another 10 minutes for Artemis to clean all of them up, but it's clear that the Da Vinci tanks have lost, and most of them are stuck up here. So, uh, I'm gonna call it a Da Vinci victory here. Yep. We'll, we'll wait for this one to die. This is the only contender. For a victory and there we go it did die now all these are just stuck up here so uh gg da vinci tank you didn't win okay the flintlock we're on to the pirate faction baby again we got to get through the boys who are we're basically a guaranteed l but that's quite all right that's quite all right you just gotta cruise on through them baby there we go all right blunderbuss time another l but you know another solid contender I feel like. I, I think this one isn't so bad. Uh, this one could get a few kills. It's a powerful unit. It's got armor, which makes it extra benefitable. Benefitable? I don't know. <laughs> that epic. Um, very cool. Very nice. But they're still going to lose. Yeah, they're getting slaughtered. They're getting KO'd. They're getting RKO'd. Bye bye. Bomb throwers. This one will be fun to watch at the very least. I don't think they'll win, but, uh, you know, lots of explosions going on. It's a good one nonetheless. Uh, I think the Pirate King and Pirate Queen, those two will definitely win. Maybe not the Pirate King, but the Pirate Queen for sure. Harpooner will be an interesting one, but, uh, you know, I don't think they got the legs to do it again. I'm sort of waiting for that Pirate King and Pirate Queen to come along. Uh, Harpooners are definitely a solid unit, though. You know, they're, they're a fun unit. Probably one of the most fun and creative units of the entire game. Um, and they do some good damage, but not enough. You know, they, they're best in association with a, another hard-hitting unit as they sort of drag their victims in. So, yeah, the Harpooners get pretty quickly slaughtered there. Yo! Cannon time! I forgot about the cannons. The cannons? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, it's a 50-50 unit. I kind of don't think so, but, you know, they could, like, pull a heart, or a uh, Huacha one and uh, manage to manage to do the missile victory. I don't I don't see it happening. And now that I'm really seeing this battle, I really don't see it happening. Well, there is the Ice Shrine, but there's still two more Giants and less and less cannons by the second here. Yeah, I don't think the cannons got it. Did the Samurai Giant go down, or is it just stuck beneath? Oh, he's just stuck behind the Ice Giant. That's kind of funny. Pixley Apollo getting some kills here. Balloon Archer's getting some kills here. Pirate King getting some kills here. But Harpooners die. Pirate Captain time. Let's-a go. I think this guy has a chance of winning. I think the Pirate Queen will 100% win. But the Pirate Captain could do the trick. You know, he could do the trick for sure. He's a strong contender here. Let's see. He's getting some good shots in there. He is cruising through a lot of units. Has yet to kill a single giant. But he did get the Mammoth. So that's good. That's signs of progress, you know, it's not bad. Certainly not bad. Let's see, they're getting thwacked pretty hard though. There goes the giant, the ice giant in particular. Now he's got to hustle to kill Pixelay Apollo and the uh, samurai giant. That one might be a little harder. There goes actually the uh, Pixelay Apollo giant. That's not bad, samurai giant's still kicking. And there's a lot fewer pirate kings now. So yeah, I think that's an L. Oh, uh, they came close. They came very close. Better than average. Better than average, but just not managing to make it. Maybe his little wifey will will manage to do her. All right. Is that it? One of them must be uh, stuck somewhere. That's it. All right, Pirate Queen time. The Pirate Queen, 
uh, is one I think will do it. And I think I, after the Pirate Queen, I'm going to take a brief break uh, and return to this later in the day, because this is taking a very, very long time to film, to be completely honest. And uh, I'm, I'm getting a little parched, a little hungry. Could use some food, and then maybe I'll return tonight uh, to finish off this this epic battle, epic proportion. I might have to reset up everything, but I mean, it, I mean, it should be the same battle, you know. All right, there we go. They've killed the mammoth. They've killed the ice giant. Now they're going in on pixelated Apollo here. Hopefully, they get the kill on him. I think they will. I think they got this 100%. I don't think there's any way they end up losing this thing. If they do, I'd be very sad because I bet all my money on this my entire fortune. Nah. I'm just kidding. I didn't bet anything. I would never. <laughs> ah, the Pixley Apollo Giant is really staying up, though. Uh-oh. This is not looking too hot. How did they not manage to kill him? There we go. They finally got him. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, the melee, or sorry, missile units in the back are doing a number on the survivors. Oh, no. They might not do this now. This one's like staggering forward. Oh my god, they actually lost. That is shocking. All right, I'll be back in a bit to do the rest. All right, boys, it's actually an entire day later. Uh, let's keep her going. We got the, the skeleton warriors here going up against everyone. I tried to put everyone back in similar spots to where I had them before, but uh, it's pretty hard to do. You don't have a lot of room to put every unit of tabs on the field. Uh, the skeletons, yeah, they didn't do well. Archers! Skeleton archers! These guys got flames, yeah! Burn them, baby! Burn them! Uh, I think the flames are very nice, very cool, very epic, but uh, not enough to kill an entire army. It's just not gonna happen, you know? I am curious to see a hundred reapers. I think they have it in them. I think we're gonna see some seriously powerful units coming up and they might actually be able to do this. All right, baby, it's candlehead time. This is an interesting one. I don't think they're going to win, but uh, they have kind of a cool ability. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying, boys? Yeah, they're not going to win. There's just no way. As we watch them get piled through, just absolutely destroyed. Wow. Vampires, I want to suck your blood. I don't think these guys got it in them. Uh, another cool unit because they're super weird and like different from everything we've seen up until this point. But again... Not powerful enough. Not not powerful enough in the slice. You gotta have some health in ya. You gotta have some health in your boing boins to in your bones to win these. Alright, pumpkin catapults! Uh the actual catapults, the, the OG catapults, failed, but I mean pumpkin catapults, man, they got a little bit more oomph to them. They got a little bit more oomph to them. It's a maybe from me, dog. I mean they they certainly did wipe out most of the weaker units, and they took out the mammoth, so that's a big chungus right there. They're spraying some more pumpkin latte fire into these boys. Uh, the tank is kind of ravaging them, though. Yeah, I don't think the pumpkin catapults really got this, if I'm being completely honest. They got three giants they need to get through. They did get through the tank, so that's impressive. That's some good stuff right there. They've also got watches just peppering them. Yeah, the pumpkin catapult, you know, it did a really nice job here, but it just don't got it, baby. It's just not strong enough. It's not strong enough. Wait, who's this over here? Oh, that's the pirate queen and the king. We actually do have some semi-weak units still clobbering, still going at them, still giving them the old kapoo ya. Um, apparently there's a pumpkin catapult living. It's this one, I think. <laughs> actually, there's a couple over here, I think. Yeah, there's a couple more. I have to sneeze so bad, dude. Ah Ooh, baby. Oh, can I get a bless you in the comments, boys? <laughs> if you've made it this deep into the video, timestamp it in the comments and say bless you. I'd be interested to see how many people made it to this point. All right, GG pumpkin bow. Blah, 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 blah. Sword casters. This could be a seriously good one. This one could be beastly, dude. Sword casters are kind of sick. They're kind of dope, and they, they cast those swords so well, baby. Come on, get some. Yeah, they're tossing those daggers up in the air. They're, they're landing some shots. They're getting some kills, but there's still a lot of enemies left. You know, I don't think they got the oomph in them. There's a lot of knives all over the place. Yeah, the sword casters lost pretty bad there. All right, here we go. This is going to be a good one. There is no doubt in my mind that the Reapers win this thing, dude. I, I think the Reapers will KO here. That, like, straight up, Reapers are going to win. Mark my words. 
look at that. Oh my god, it's actually terrifying. It looks like something out of Epic Mickey. I actually never played Epic Mickey, but I saw so much footage of it. It was a game I always wanted, but just never got. Oh, and, and I just remember the ink everywhere. Ink everywhere was the theme of Epic Mickey. <laughs> the Reapers are clapping, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, Reapers OP, boys. Reapers might be the strongest unit we've seen yet take these guys on, straight up. Oh, are they not going to win? Oh! <gasps> What? Hold up, there's only two Reapers left. It's still enough, potentially. They take out the Catapult, they take out the Ballista, there's an Executioner. They take out the Execu- they did win, okay. Good. That was close, that was close, there was only two Reapers left, but that was a strong showing. We're on to the Wild Wild West with the Dynamite Throwers. I think the Wild Wild West could have some contenders for victory as well when we get into the deeper units like that Artillery Barrage unit and uh, Deadeye and stuff like that. But the Dynamite Throwers lost almost immediately. All right, the Pickaxe Men, another, uh, you know, group. These Miners aren't very strong. They're probably going to go down very, very fast. They might get a few kills. I mean, they are melee. They got some power to them, but nah, they're just not going to win. It's just one of those ones where you just know, you know, they did take out the Mammoth and they got some kills in there, but nah, nah, they don't got this. They don't got this. 100%. There you go. They lost. The Cactus. Not going to lie. I could see these guys winning. They are a powerful unit, dude. At the very least, they'll get a bunch of kills, I think. Um, <laughs> this screen's freaking out because of the number of people on it. <laughs> it's absolutely tripping, dog. Yeah, they are getting a lot of kills. Uh, maybe not a victory, but I think it is a, it's a good contender of a unit. This is a strong unit. Cactus is underappreciated. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, they're surviving longer than most of the other units, which is good. They got like 30 seconds in them. There you go, boys. There you go, boys. B -b 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 boys oh look there's the um the one cactus unit on the blue side just watching his brothers die call me insane call me a madman but i think the gunslinger is going to win i think <laughs> maybe not uh i i could still see it i could still see it come on guys come on prove me right no they don't have it they did get a lot of good fire out there but i don't, I don't think they got it nah Oh, I, I, I don't know why. I just really thought they would win that, but no, they got cleaned up pretty fast. The Lasso Boys, or girls. I think it's a cowgirl. Um, I don't, I don't know about this one. I, I They're strong, they're strong, but they're not strong enough, in my opinion. I'd be loved to be proven wrong, but I just don't see these guys doing it. Um, the Lasso, you know, it hooks them in, which is nice, but I don't think it's got the... Uh, the killing power. Oh my god, look at look at all the giants. They have just wrapped lassos all around them. That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, the, la the lasso lasso peeps all died pretty hard right there. They're 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 goners. That's it. There's someone still alive though. Oh, they got knocked up over here. There you go. Alright, bye bye, lasso -ers. The Deadeye. This is an interesting one. I think they could win. They pack a serious punch. You know? Oh my god, they're getting trampled. Never mind. <laughs> I really thought they'd like just wipe the floor with them by like just doing an absolute musket line, but no, nah, they're getting they're getting pretty much stomped here. Actually, wait. They're doing okay. No, no, they don't have it. They don't have it. They they did take out a giant though, and that is something that should not be scoffed at. This is definitely one of the more powerful units, but they did lose. The final of the Wild Wild Westy boys the quick drawers um i don't know i i genuinely don't know maybe they are getting some good kills right off the bat here but they're weak you know if they get hit they die they, they don't have the health to back them up like the king or like the pirate queen does or the reaper um but they do pack a mean punch with their bullets they do take out the samurai giant that's a big kill right there that is a big kill um they take out the modern tank, that's big, but nah, they don't have it. Wow. I really thought the Wild Wild West would at least get one dubski, but no, they didn't get a single one, dude. Not a one. That's kind of sad, actually. This is the biggest joke of all time. The peasants. <laughs> this might be the fastest L that we see all day. It, 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 yep, yep. That lasted all of 12 seconds. Wow. 100 banner bearers. I mean, this is just cruel. This is just mean, dude. Like, <laughs> why? Oh, the oh the banner bearer manatee. Oh, the 
Oh, it's cruel. It's a it's a cruel, cruel thing. That was that was rough to watch. We got another archery unit here. 100 poachers. Let's see them get rolled. <laughs> they don't they don't really stand a chance here, boys. Nope, they do not, sir. No siree, Bob. They're gonna get swept. Yep, they all died. 100 blow darters. Let's see how this ends up going. Probably not well. Probably not well in the slightest. Yep, they are getting rolled. <laughs> They're getting trolled and rolled and rolled and all those rhymes. Pikemen. This will be an interesting one. I don't think they'll win, but I think they'll do pretty well. They do drop their pikes after one usage, which is going to be detrimental to them. Um, yeah, they actually didn't do well at all. No, they got they got pretty rolled right there. That was uh, that was not great. Barrel rollers, rolling them barrels, boys. These guys don't have it. Nope, they exploded almost immediately. Wow, that was actually the fastest one. One hundred boxers. This is not going to go well. <laughs> But once we get to like the Thor and stuff like that and the tank, then I think we might start seeing some dub skis again. It's really, really hard to win this battle overall. You know, the the boys, the boys, the hundred boys are not doing well in the slightest. Actually, these guys are doing pretty well. The, the boxers did better than I thought. All right, a hundred attack banners. This is just stupid. This is just... What's the point, dude? Oh my god, they're getting slaughtered. Poor poor guys, poor gents. Oh, lads. 100 pharaohs. Now we're getting into the legacy units that I think just might have a smidge of a chance. Maybe not these guys necessarily in particular, but, you know, maybe the guys ahead of them. I think these guys will do pretty well, but maybe not get the dubski. Yeah, they're not getting the dubski. But uh, maybe the next boys will. Gandalf is in the house! <laughs> What's up, Gandy? My boy! Uh, he's got some potential here. He could manage to take the dubski. Most of them are on fire right now, which is surprising. Um, they're getting some good strokes in there. They're, they're, they're firing on all cylinders, clapping a little bit of cheeks right now. They're getting some kills, actually. Yeah, these guys could do it. I could see the... Uh, the potential within them. I, I think they could manage to pull this off. What do you think, Lee? Could it happen? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Just a weird, like, sports announcer thing. I actually think Gandalf's got it. Yeah, they definitely got it. Holy cow. Nice. This is, like, the most decisive victory yet, actually. Nice. We got another victory. All right. I couldn't even fit close to 100 chariots in here. Like, these might be some of the largest units in the entire game. I can't even fit one in between that massive space. It's crazy. Um... So they only get 41. Sorry, chariots. <laughs> but you're too chonk for your own good. You're too chonk. What are you doing? What are you doing, chariots? Lose weight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, they're getting clobbered. Yeah, maybe with 100 they could do it, but uh, they're too big. They're simply too big, dude. They are They are large boys. <laughs> boys! They're very chonk. Yeah, they're dying, though. They're dying big time. They, they, they took the L. They took the fat L. Oh, there there comes one out of nowhere. Where'd you come from? You got clobbered, but you came out of nowhere. That's kind of cool. Uh, we got the Fire Queen over here finishing off the last of these gladiators. Finishing them off. That guy went Kirsch Bluey. Thor is in the house. I think Thor's got this 100%. I do not see Thor losing. Look at that thunder strike. Yes. I, I, I can almost guarantee Thor will win this thing. He's such a powerful unit. He's a literal god, dude. A liter lit literally a god. <laughs> literally, <laughs> as Leafy used to say. Um, yeah, Thor Thor gets the e easy dub, easy dub. Ooh, look, Zeus. Oh, that's so cute, Zeus. That's so cute. You're dead. Thor's OP. Couldn't fit 100 uh, tanks in here, but we'll, we'll see how they do. Oh, my god. That is an artillery barrage if I have ever seen one. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, I think the tanks might win this. And then they just kamikaze forward. That's kind of how the tanks work. They just sort of yeet. They do the big yeet and they get the big kills. I think the tanks got this. Oh, legacy units are so unbelievably powerful, dude. We're going to see a lot more wins from the legacy units. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, this is chaos. What? What is happening? Nice job. 
the last of our units here are the most OP you can possibly get. Super boxers, of course they're gonna win. Are you kidding me? Of, literally, of course they're gonna win. I'd be surprised if one died. That's how sure I am that they're gonna win. I would be so shocked if one died. They're just gonna clobber, dude. They're going to absolutely flipping clobber. Yeah, they clobbering. <laughs> they're smacking down. Uh, I don't even see a dead one. The ones on the ground are still alive. They're just crawling around like little weirdos. They're clobbering. Yeah, I mean, super boxers, it's a guaranteed dub. It's a guaranteed dub. Don't even doubt it, boys. Don't even doubt it. Look at them. Look at them go. It's clobbering time. There we go. They finally defeated the giant. Oh, they actually did lose a lot of troopers against the giant. I'm surprised by that. Interesting. They lost a lot right there. Okay. All right. Interesting, interesting. There we go. Kill the ballista, and then finally the boom. Nice. All right, they did actually end up losing quite a number. 100 dark peasants is really laggy. Oh my god, all the hands are crapping out my computer right now, dude. Please win fast, 100 peasants. I am getting like negative brick FPS. I didn't even mean to zoom in, but I can't zoom out. Okay, there we go. It's zooming out. It's so laggy. Oh my god, 100 dark peasants is. Too much for my computer to handle. Handle. Oh, and they're obviously gonna win. <laughs> Jeez, look how we're watching a PowerPoint presentation essentially right now. It's so bad, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Please end the suffering. End the pain. Ah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh my god. Okay, this is <laughs> this is definitely a bit much. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. It's so laggy. It is so laggy. All right, we're calling it a win so we don't have to watch this anymore. It's a guaranteed win. They're literal god units. All right, super peasant shouldn't cause as much lag, but they're... Okay, they do cause some lag, but not as bad. Uh, they're definitely going to win. I mean, no doubt. About it. Look at this. It's slaughter. It's a slaughterhouse. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was the fastest dubski I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, guys, um, that's going to be about it for today. If you want to see the sequel to this where we do the secret units, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribed, and comment down below what you thought. It, it really helps me out a ton. Um, also, if you want to see more tabs videos or you know, battle simulator game videos, check out my second channel, Daily Productions. I post a lot of content there uh, that is similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below. Subscribe. Like the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.